Drinking water is like washing out your insides. The water will cleanse the system, fill you up, decrease your caloric load, and improve the function of all your tissues. Kevin R. Stone. Drinking water is essential to a healthy lifestyle. Steph Curry. I always have water, tons of water. It's even in my bathroom because I used to be so bad at drinking water and I want to stay hydrated. Selena Gomez. If you've been following along, then you already know I made a video about a smart water bottle. But in that video, I said, this bottle comes in at a price of 60 to $70, you know, depending on when you get it, sales, all that kind of stuff. And now I want to talk about a more budget-friendly option, the Hydrate Spark Tap. This is a smart water bottle that utilizes NFC tags that allow you to tap your way into tracking your water intake. It has a glowing base that reminds you hourly to drink water and it allows you to schedule when those glowing notifications show. I like to think of myself as an active person or more so like a moderately active person. So having something like this, is very useful even though I struggle to meet my daily water goal. But if you wanna see what the Hydrate Spark Pro offers, then you can click the tag in the top right or the link in the description to view that video and go from there. And this isn't necessarily a comparison video between the tap and the pro, but Throughout this video, maybe at the end of the video, I'll throw in some differences that I've noticed between these two bottles. All right, the Hydrate Spark Tap is a budget-friendly smart water bottle that comes in at a price of $29.99. There are multiple color options, and this bottle in particular is the scuba color. There are three different size options, 20 ounce, 24 ounce, and 32 ounce. The 20 ounce, which is what this is, is the only one of the three options that comes in stainless steel. The other two options come in a Triton plastic. Last but not least, you can choose between a chug lid and a straw lid. All together, the tap bottle comes into three parts, the light base, the bottle, and the lid. Now it's important to note that the light base should be clean with a damp cloth and never submerged, and the stainless steel bottle should be cleaned by hand, but if you choose the plastic bottle option, that along with both lids are dishwasher safe. Now because it is a smart object, that means that there's probably more than likely a smart app that goes with it, and that is the Hydrate app. Here you can set up your daily goal and track your daily progress. You can also manually add water if you drink something outside of your bottle, view your drinking history, connect and challenge with friends through social media or your contacts, and you can look at the settings for each bottle if you happen to have multiple. There's also a settings tab if you wanna look more into your account, your goal, your reminders, and if you need help for some reason. The app also keeps track of the location of your bottle based on the last time you updated your numbers. So how does this work? Every time you finish a bottle, you use the app to tap and update the app, which then registers that you drank a full bottle, refill and do it all over again. And throughout the day, the app will remind you to drink water to help you stay on top of your goal with notifications like this one. If you want my honest opinion, this Hydrate Spark tap bottle is great and it's not great, which leads me to my personal pros and cons. I'm just gonna go through three very quickly. You might agree, you might disagree. Also, this is based on my experience with the Hydrate Spark Pro first and then having experience with the Hydrate Spark tap. The first pro is it's cheap. I mean, it's only $19.99 plus tax and shipping and all that kind of stuff. But still, that's that's still less than $30 for a smart water bottle. That's pretty, pretty, pretty good if you think about it. Um, and all you have to do is just tap to keep your progress, download an app. Most of the time, I'm pretty sure most people watching this video probably have a smartphone of some sort. There's a very small percentage that probably don't, but either way, you can download the app and you just tap and keep your progress. The second pro is it's easily customizable. All the buttons you need to change the glow. I just spilled some water. I'm still spilling water. All you have to do is tap this button on the bottom and you can change the color just like that. Unlike the Pro, which you actually have to use the app to go through the app and change the color. But I will say with the Pro and the app specifically, you can actually choose two colors and all this other kind of stuff. So it's up to you, which you if you think that's technically a Pro or not, but this is just easily accessible. And the last Pro is just, it's a tap to track. You just take your phone, you tap it, and that's how you record your progress. It doesn't take that much time and it's an easy way to just track how much water you're drinking because when you're finished with the bottle, you just tap your phone to it and it adds, in this case, 20 ounces to your daily goal. All right, let's talk about the cons. So my first con is the battery. Yes, it's technically a long lasting battery. I don't know how long it'll last you, a month, two months, three months, but eventually you'll have to buy another battery, which is something you gotta pay for. Another con that I could think about is because this bottle is 20 ounces, let's say my daily goal is 70 ounces for the day. 20 is not a multiple of 70, 
And the only way for you to track your progress on the app is tap to track. And when you tap it, it assumes that you drink all 20 ounces, but if you only need 70 ounces, there's no way to track the 10 ounces. You understand what I'm saying? So you would either have to just drink 80 ounces or just manually add the water in the app later on. Not a huge inconvenience, but it's, it's enough for some people. And this last one isn't technically a con because like you do have to tap to track it. And the reason I'm bringing this specific thing up is because with the Pro, anytime you drink from the bottle because it has a sensor in the bottle, you just place the bottle down and you kind of just don't even have to think because it's gonna sync with your phone, assuming you have the app open at some point. With this, every time you have to you drink a bottle, like let's say you are in a hurry, you drank all the water in the bottle, you just forget the tap. You even forget that you're drinking as much bottles or many bottles throughout the day. Let's say you're playing sports or whatever, and you just forget how many you've drank. That's where it can kind of be like, eh, you know, the tap the track. It's cool, it's great, it's a good function, but if you're just out and about, you're doing your thing, playing sports, running, doing all the things that you do that requires you to drink a lot of water frequently, then the tap the track can kind of be an inconvenience, sort of. Let me know if that makes sense. If it doesn't, feel free to comment down below, but that's just my opinion. Again though, it's because I have experience with the Pro before I've had the experience with the tap. My absolute final opinion on this is that I think this is a great smart bottle if you want one. The price alone really can kind of motivate you to want to increase your water intake, all that kind of stuff. If I wasn't gifted the Hydrate Spark Pro, then I'm gonna be honest, I'd probably get this first. But if you have the bigger budget, if you're willing to spend uh, $50 more or depending on where you buy it from, all that kind of stuff, feel, definitely go, go for the Pro in my opinion. But I do have links to both of these in the description below if you wanna check both of them out. At the end of the day, I really do hope that you kind of think about how much water you intake on a daily basis, and then also depending on what you do on a daily basis. If you're an active person, not as active, highly active, all that kind of stuff. I personally prefer the Pro over the, the Tap, but I think the Tap is a great bottle overall. I'm just encourage you all to drink some more water. That's all they're trying to do, really. They're trying to give you a way that you can just increase your water intake. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget the thumbs up bell. I hope you and the fam are doing well. Bye.